Hi, I'm Jenny Bunn and I have been working with Pixton. Pixton is an online comic strip creator that is free and is a lot of fun to work with. So we're going to get started by going up to Create. We're going to click Create a Comic and look at some of the options. The Quickie is a one row comic quick start. You can see that right there. It already has backgrounds and um, and characters selected for you, um, which gives you a really good jumping off part, um, kind of a good way to get your feet wet with this. The Classic is a one row comic. Um, they are blank panels and you can choose how many panels you'd like to use. And then the Sunday Funny is two rows of blank panels and a differing number of them uh, depending on what you want. There are some other options down here um, that are fun to explore, but we're not going to be working with them today in this tutorial. What we're going to look at is the Quickie. So we'll click Create. And you'll see that it offers a lot of different templates. Um, so if you're looking for uh, a solo person in a classroom, there's something for you. If you're looking for people having a conversation, they've got something. Now, um, you'll see that they're all shadow people right now. We're going to be able to select a pre-made character to put into these scenes, um, and we'll do that in just a sec. So um, let's just start off with the campsite. I'm going to click on that, and now we can choose our character. Um, we can go in and change um, hair color, um, shirt, pant color, all these types of things, um, and we'll be able to move expressions and things like that. It's a lot of fun. Um, so how about if we choose go with old cowboy? There we go. And it's going to load him in where we previously saw the silhouettes of characters. Click to edit. There he is. So, uh, as I said before, we can go in, uh, just click on the old cowboy anywhere you want, and it's going to offer up a move object option, an edit expression option, and then an edit color option. So let's click on that first, and let's uh, change his shirt color. How about a nice, how about a nice bright purple? There we go. And let's change his pants. I think uh, this cowboy wears. Um, wears uh, an orange, an orange, and his tie, not a gray, aquamarine, like that. Um, I'm going to change his hat to red, there we go, um, and instead of old cowboy, I want him to be a little bit younger, I want him to kind of have a Burt Reynolds look going on, so um, let's get this chocolate brown, there we go, um, and um, now we're going to just move him around. Um, let's go back to edit expression, though we can certainly edit his face, we can also move his arms, we can move his head around, we can move his hands up, down, um, do really whatever we want. Um, it's kind of fun to play with, twist them all over. Alright Bert, let's bring you back. There we go. Um, bring a leg up, maybe he's running. Well, that didn't work out. Alright, there we go. We'll just leave him like that. There we go. Um, let me do this. You can zoom in, zoom out on him, put him wherever you want in the campsite. Let's just leave him right there. Um, something else that's really neat about this, these are preset expressions. So we can go in right here and take a look at making Bert maniacal, happy, surprised, irate. And there are four pages of these, so um, let's go with Maniacal for Bert. I think that's a good match. And um, there are preset poses also if we wanted to go that route. Um, so we can have Bert walk on his hands, do a kneeling thing. I don't know that I'd call that kneeling. It looks like more of a slide you do at the end of a Saturday Night Fever dance move, but um, I guess they probably needed a one-word verb. Um, so we'll just leave him the way he is. Um, we'll click out. That puts us back in the main frame, and we're going to edit the text box now. We click in the text box, move object, edit text, we're going to click on edit text, and I'm going to have maniacal Burt Reynolds just say um, something that I feel that he would probably say, and that is going to be, did, how about, do I smell hot dogs? That seems about right. 
do I smell hot dogs? There we go. Um, and we're going to click out of that. I feel good about where we're at. Let's save that panel. And there we go. Uh, we can click copy scene. We're going to go into the next panel and we click paste scene. That's going to give us the same thing again. Um, I'm going to delete the text bubble. I'm going to zoom in on Burt Reynolds, kind of move him into the center here, and uh, let's edit his expression. Let's move his eyes over. So uh, that moved both the eyes, which is great. Let's um, see if we can um, see if we can make him smell. Let's see if if uh, there's a preset expression for smelling. Um, hmm disgusted, bored, worried. Maybe he's worried that he doesn't smell a hot dog. So there we go. So uh, let's zoom in a little bit more. Uh, let's uh, change this mouth to a... Uh, hmm. Hey. Oh, there we go. He's licking his lips. Licking his lips. There we go. We can't really see it with the mustache. Luckily, we can uh, move his head around. Well, we're still not going to get the get the tongue to show. Let's just leave them right there. There we go. Um, and I think uh, we're just going to stop right there with the tutorial. We're going to save this for later. And uh, now you can see some of the others that I'm working on uh, <laughs> describing the, uh, the class through comic strip. And we'll get to see all of those a little bit later. Um, so thanks so much for joining me and I hope you explore Pixton on your own.